Hi, this is Rochelle, and today we're going to be um, creating a new um, list account with your um, HostGator reseller account. Okay, so the first place that um, we're going to go to um, actually is your WHM login. You'll see the uh, WHM there. You put your username in here, your password in here, and you'll log in. Now I'm using a, uh, a password manager called Ropaform. Okay. Now we're not creating a new account. So what we're doing is you're going to go. Go to the left hand side and make sure that you are in the right place. Okay, which is your whole menu is opened up here, and, and you're going to go to the account information to list accounts. Now it's going to show me a number of uh, different accounts that I already have. So I am going to pick one that I want to use and just go into there. Just click into where I showed you. You'll see a little sign like this right there. I think I accidentally clicked back in there. Yes, I did. Anyways, click into here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go down to where it says Quick Install. I'm going to click on that. You're going to see a number of different things come up. But the one thing that you're looking for is WordPress right here. And you just click into the WordPress. Now you will see um, different things here where you can uh, do uh, different things and it does cost you money. but. We're not going to worry about that right now because we want to look at this. This is called your free and install your WordPress. It's going to give you your boxes that open up down here. Okay, so you need to fill out these boxes. What is going to be the name of uh, the actual account that you're using, which is the first name which is the interactive views website and then my install path I'm going to make it um, a port McNichol um, let me see so underscore report McNichol underscore travels or uh, no 
the Port McNichol um, underscore views. my town. Okay, um, the administrative uh, email that I'm going to use, um, my blog title is, and this can be changed so it doesn't really matter, you can put anything here. Uh, putting Port McNichol on the map. Now, I need to see something quickly here. I need to make sure that I am spelling it right because this is going actually into a website. Just making sure that I'm spelling it right. Uh, yeah, there's two L's. Okay, so I'm just making sure that I've now spelled it right. Um, the administrator is just going to be admin um, and this is my name and I'm going to click install WordPress. So you're going to see this come up. It says okay we're setting up WordPress for you. Now you can click into here if you want to use a premium theme but I'm just going to wait Your install is complete. Click here. Okay, so to view your credentials, this is where you're going to be signing in right here in your password. So the best thing to do is to copy this and save it either in a, um, in a clip note or just sometimes I just save it in my notebook. My notepad so anyways I'm just going to save it in there but for now what we're going to do is we're just going to copy this password here now this password can be changed but just copy that and click into the, the um, what you'll see right here coming up where you're going to be putting your information as you can see the admin already went in there and I need to put my password in here and log in. Okay, so because I now changed this to the uh, Port Nickel, I just want to be able to um, have this information so that I keep it close. Okay, so now there we go. Here is your, your information where I put my um, information in signing up for my, my new um, a website with the quick install is uh, Port McNichol and then my town. Okay, so and uh, this is my total here and this is my actual website. So that is how to set up your website um, using the uh, one click quick install for WordPress. There is something else that I did want to uh, show you and um, let's just have a look at it in the uh, say we want to do um, our first post. Okay, now as you probably noticed, we have a new type of editor. 
and this editor is done with um, using blocks of information and um, this is if you read this information here welcome to the wonderful world blocks and, and it tells you basically how you can add things by clicking on this right here and it is going to show you sorry it will show you a number of different things that you can put in like, like for instance if you want to put in your heading you would click on this block in the heading block and it would come up and it says heading 2 this is heading 3 heading 4 and this just means this is actually the uh, meta tags that um, search engines actually look for okay um, and your uh, title which is right here Okay, so my title is going to be putting a port McNichol on the map. Not that it isn't on the map right now, that's just my title right there. Okay? And it automatically saves. So you don't have to worry about saving, it automatically saves and then you can click your preview right here and, and you can preview what you just did. So this is actually what it looks like right now. The website uh, that I just started that I'm doing for uh, Port McNichol. And if you want to change it, and I suggest that, that you do, you click on your customize. And then this will tell you exactly the theme that you're using and how you can change it. And I am going to change that. So you just click on there and then you can choose from uh, different other themes that are here or you could go here and check out the different themes, the wordpress.org themes. Okay, so it all depends on no, the type of theme that you're interested in but I am basically interested in, um, I like the theme, the, I believe it's called, um, Unique Blog. I'm just looking for one particular theme here. I want to see if it, if it is here. But you can, um, you can check out other ones. Now, I do, I do like this one here. in which I can install and preview or I could go to other ones that are that are down here as well um, you'll notice that a lot of these are free however there are a premium that uh, you would have to pay for but I, I like the free ones I'm going to actually have a look at this one. So I'm just going to install this. So I'm downloading my theme right now. Actually, I'd like to look at this in um, actual what it looks like, but 
right now. I, I kind of like it, so I'm going to use it. So I'm just, just going to click Activate and Publish. Okay, now I know that I skipped around, so getting back into um, showing you this new um, editor, you may find that you think it's harder, but it really isn't. It's just a matter of putting different blocks in and information. Okay, so this is the title right here. This is a heading. If I wanted to use the uh, first heading, which would be um, I don't know at the moment. Okay, so the next thing you'd want to do is uh, a paragraph. And then you'd start writing down here and say you would you would say, you know, um, welcome to Ford. I mean this is what I would say anyways. McNichol located in the township of Tay. You know, just letting people know uh, where it's located. Okay. Um, so basically, that's just if you wanted to um, to do more in it, you could do more in it, and, and um, you can also. This is also different editing you can do. Uh, like for instance, if you wanted it to be centered, you could then center where you put your cursor is where it gets uh, moved. For instance, if I put my cursor here, I've got it in the center. If I click on the um, left, it goes to the left. If I click on the right, it goes to the right. Um, if I put my cursor here and I want to uh, bold it, then I would, I would then highlight it and click to click bold. Or if I wanted to put it in italics, I would do the same thing. Um, say I just wanted to do the township of Tay in um, italics. So I would do the same thing, which is what I want to do down here as well. Okay. So that's basically how to do your first uh, to to work through your first paragraph, and of course there's going to be more information. But I am going to now go actually into um, the internet and see what what shows me. What does it show me about Port McNichol? Uh, Wikipedia. So it's a good reference um, in order to help you to um, get a more of a rating on Google. You want to use something that's been around for a while. So uh, Wikipedia is good. Um, I would check out the information and see a more if it if it's correct and. Um, You know, you could just put it, I just want to stay in this paragraph right here. Um, and I'm just going to put like Wikipedia. 
because this is just as an example I do I will be uh, changing it things but and you would highlight that and click on your link into your link right here paste and up here I want to save my draft to make sure it's saved okay so this would be the first information now say I wanted to put in um, an image okay so now I can upload an image I could go to my media library or I could insert it from a URL. I am going to insert it from a URL, but I just need to find something here in my in the images. And I like to go to Google. I go to Google because I find Google is the best for finding the information that I want quickly. And it doesn't take me anywhere else. I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm a little partial to Google, I guess. So I'm just going to go into uh, Port Nickel. And I want to go into Images. So I want to pick the best image of Port Nickel. And I kind of Now you have to be careful because some of these images are, um, they will be copyrighted. The best image that you could use, let's just say I, I just wanted to use this one. Okay, um, it says here I could use Pinterest and I could I could save it and that would be an idea because then I could incorporate Pinterest in with my WordPress so I'm going to click on my Pinterest and this picture is going to come up and I'm going to create a new board and I'm going to call it Port Nickel. Now, I don't know if you've noticed or not, but usually with my tutorials, I end up going to different places, and I hope I'm not confusing you, because this all goes in together. Okay, so now I have this in, in my Pinterest right now, and um, I'm also going to save this. I have something that's called um, right here. Um, it's called bucket so I'm also going to save that in as a, a JPEG and uh, where is it saving it in I am going to just save it in my desktop so I'm going to I'm going to go back to my edit post. And I'm going to upload my uh, the image that I just saved in my desktop. Which is right here. Okay, now for the um, search engine optimization, I'm going to go into my edit, my image. Okay, and um, 
I'm going to put in some anchor text. And I'm going to just um, copy and paste the information that I've just put in here. And this was a picture of, um, I'm just going to put the uh, port magnetic picture just to, okay, so there we go. Okay. Now, you could see this thing that's come up here at the side, which is something that I just noticed is very new as well, is how big you want your... Somehow I think I've spelt Wikipedia wrong. I just need to... No, I didn't. Okay, so I just need to change this, uh, this information in here in my image. I would like it to be, I guess... 75% no 25% let's just go with 520 by 520 because that's, you know, that sounds nice <laughs> okay there we go all right and uh, where do i want it to link to i want one of do the attachment page and i'm going to put my link in here where i want it to to link to and in here is going to be the uh youtube um the youtube video okay all right, so that's already saved. Okay, now I want to take my link from, let's just preview that before I do anything, because this is all new to me as well, so uh, we're both learning together. It says right, right ahead, but I already did. Right ahead, so I don't want to write another one. Okay, so I've gone to my image. And uh, now I want to go to... If I wanted to put any other blocks in there, I could. Like, for instance, audio, which I'm, I'm not going to use, which is a lot different than... Uh, the other one, which I'm going to be doing another tutorial on it. Um, some more formatting, the layout elements, if you wanted to add some other widgets or embed, which I could do that, but I'm not doing that at this moment. Okay, so this is just the beginning, and I'm just going to publish this um, right now my visibility I don't want it public I want it I still want it private okay so and it didn't get the heading so I am going to write the heading again sorry let's just go back Go back, switch to draft. Okay. Okay. So this is my block, this is my document.
some reason it's telling me my heading isn't in there, so I'm going to put it back in there. Okay, and I'm going to save that. Probably in the saving process that it didn't, it didn't save that for me. Okay. And now, what I want to do is I wanted to be able to uh, show you just a little bit of the difference of this new uh, WordPress. I'm going to be doing tutorials actually on this uh, this new WordPress, the uh, Gutenberg, which is all in blocks. So we're just doing that right now. And um, I just want to go into my plugins right now and check in out my installed plugins. This is just setting up the, uh, the website from the perspective of actually going to the um, WHM um, uh, a site to be able to sign into your HostGator WHM site and then uh, create your uh, WordPress from there. Okay, so let's see. What do we have here? All right, so what I want to do is I want to look for my ones that I like using, which is Yoast. Oops, I need to search in the search in the WordPress plugin directory. Searching in my own directory. Okay. Now, uh, the one that I usually use is this one right here. It's just a free plugin, um, and it's called Yoast. So I'm just going to install that right now. Okay, so Yoast search engine optimization. All right, and um, I'm going to go and I'm going to activate it. Okay, so now if we go back into the post that I was working on. Let's just see the difference in here. So now this is going to give me the information that I need. Like for instance, the permalink is important. We're going to click in there, and this is actually I want to copy this right here because I need this information uh, to go to my Pinterest where I just put my information for Port McNichol, just that um, new um, board that I just created. Take me to my Pinterest, please. Okay. That's why it's good to always have your information 
in these little um, shortcuts down here so that you can get your quicker. Okay, so I have been working a little bit on my Pinterest. I'm trying to get over uh, 20,000 unique views in uh, one month. Um, okay, so I would like to get into my boards. Okay, where I just put my newest one, which is the uh, Port Me Nickel, and get it in there, right into this one here, which is where I just put it, and into my edit. And what's this board going to be about? Well, um, it's going to be about um, Port Me Nickel. Port Me Nickel. About the town and the different places that you can walk to. what is new and trending and um, community information. Now, now you're wondering why, do, why am I putting this on Pinterest? Well, because it'll help me to grow organic traffic and um, it will also help people who are um, looking for some information about Port McNichol. Oops, I should not have changed that. That's, that should not be there. There we go. Okay, so I'm just going to save that information. I've just created some organic traffic to my Pinterest uh, from my post. Okay. Now, I can also create some organic traffic from my post to my Pinterest if I wanted to as well. Okay, but right now I want to go into categories. I want to take that out of there and put it into a new category, which is I'm, which I'm going to call, uh, I'm just going to name it Port Nickel because I don't really have any um, other categories okay and no parent category and then we get into the tags okay where it says add new tags there now this is where I'm gonna go to um, my actual YouTube channel And I'm going to go from my YouTube channel, or you could just go to YouTube, it doesn't matter, but I like to open my channel anyways, into the uh, information, like what's available that they have out there for Port McNichol. And, oh, sorry. It's Rochelle. It's Rochelle, and welcome to my YouTube channel. First of all, I'd like to wish you a Merry Christmas. And thank you for being here. I post every Wednesday. I try to keep up with the trends. I'm and then um, I want to see what's available here. What do they have here for Port McNichol? This is the first one here. And I'm going to look at the top search tags. Hmm. It has a lot about um, real estate for Port McNichol. That's interesting. Hmm. 
Those are the top search tags for Port McNichol. But I'm going to look at something else. The Legend of the Lost Port. I'm just using this as an example just to uh, show you how you can connect the dots in order to create organic traffic and to get um, m uh, more people to see what you're doing and I see there are no tags here which is unfortunate because they'd be doing a, a lot more with it. So. Because basically what I am looking for is I am looking for the best tags. So I am going to use these just for now. Just to show you. Okay, I'm going to go into there. And... put my, my tags in right here. Now, because I've used these tags now, I would have to make up some, inf put some information in here using all of these tags which I am not going to do right now, but it will be available by the time this tutorial is ready. Okay, so I've just put the tags in there, just to begin with, and I'm just going to save the draft. Now, I'm going to click uh, Preview and see what it looks like so far. Generate, uh, generating a preview. Okay, so now this is not on the internet uh, yet because I have not made it into anything other than uh, what I put here. This is what it looks like putting Port McNichol on the map. And of course, I'm going to take that out. And I believe that's in the, the uh, site identity. And I'm going to take that out. Um. I don't know what to put at the moment there. I would have to think about it, but you can put your tagline in here, which can be a great place to visit or a great place for your family. Great place for your family. Okay. And I'm going to just publish that. Okay, and then going back into here, which is going to take me right back into my actual website here. Back into my dashboard.
your site is currently displaying a coming soon to launch your site click here I don't want to do that yet because I want to see what are all the pages that they have here because we do have to change some information okay so this is um, the home page selection home and sample page okay I don't need the sample page so I'm just going to click trash that that means it goes to the trash okay um, I'm going to do bulk actions here I would need to have a look quickly in these pages, the about page and the contact page. These are three pages that I would have to make sure are have the right information, like for instance the contact, let's just click the edit and see what comes up here. You see, sometimes they put stuff like this in here. This is a page with some basic contact information. Okay. You can add a contact form, or you can completely take the contact information out. It's up to you. I, I think that I'm not going to use that right now, but... For your purposes, you can. You would just put your information in there and go from there. The About page. And this page is just going to say, um, okay, like for instance, it says you might be an artist, you'd like to introduce yourself, your work. Okay, so basically, you know, it's like, um, I am just going to put a little bit of information about myself, not too much. To a cozy town called. Now you do have to be careful um, that you don't put information about yourself, like a lot of information about yourself. Ah. Uh, This web space is... I really haven't thought about that a lot, so I'm just going to put this...
So I've taken up the challenge of putting uh, Port McNichol on the map. Now, of course, you're going to put your own information in there. And these are just some things that um, I've been working on. Okay, so now after you've checked your information and uh, you would like to um, make sure that um, your pages and your other information has has a correct information on in here so that you will you'll be able to um, see if this is something that, that you want to use or not okay so basically this is it looks like so far and this is just the beginning I am also going to be putting my um, I am also going to be putting this tutorial uh, in, in the post as well uh, the one that I just did which as an example, uh, I will show you. Uh, this is the post that, that I just did right here. Right now it's showing as a draft. And I'm just going to edit it. And I'll be putting my, um, my video um, a little informational video on this page as well and then I'm going to uh, click publish all right visibility you ready to publish yes okay okay so these are the first steps in creating um, your new one uh, one click WordPress site and um, thank you very much for liking and subscribing to my channel and um, please leave me a comment down below um, I'm always interested in um, answering any questions and also, if you have a channel um, that you'd like me to go over and have a look at, and if I like it, I will subscribe to it, and then we can help each other and grow together. Until then, have yourself a great day. Bye now. <laughs>